All right, let's talk about logging out the users. And this is going to be very simple. All we have to do is to delete the cookie through a form submission. So let's just start by creating the markup in our navigation. Right here, we have the auth section and we are rendering the dashboard link. Let's create a form and we will leave the action empty for now. Then inside the form, I will create a BTN with the class nav link and a text that says log out. So here is our log out button. When we click on it, we want to delete the session and that means the user is logged out. Now let's go to our auth.js and in here we want to create another server action. So far we have login and register and at the very bottom we want to create a log out function. So we can say export async function. We would call this log out. We don't need any parameters and we simply want to delete the cookies. Again, much like previous videos, we want to create our cookie store first. We will set this to await cookies from next headers. So make sure it is imported up here. Then we can grab the cookie store and delete an item from our cookies. So the item we want to delete is called session and we pass that as a string. And when we are done, we want to redirect back to the home page. And that's it. Very simple. So notice here, we don't need the state and the form data because we are not getting anything from the form. We are just submitting a request. So all we have to do now is call this function on our form. So on the action attribute, let's add the curly brackets and import log out from our server actions. And that's all we have to do. So here is our form and the button, the function that we are importing up here. If we go back to our website, press log out, you can see the session is gone, the navigation is updated, and we can log in again to see the effect. I'm going to log in with this user. We can see the session is created and everything works properly. So that was very easy. And with that, we are done with our authentication system. So from the next video onwards, we want to talk about the CRUD actions. So we will create, read, update, and delete a resource from our database. And we will use blog posts as examples. We will see how we can authorize certain actions. And when we are done with those CRUD actions, we will add the middlewares and that would be towards the end of our series. So let's start working on our CRUD actions.